a very energetic discussion next door. So what's different? We did have competition between the states uh, to, you know, the last decade. It has enabled some states like Gujarat to move ahead, others like Maharashtra to stay ahead, and has, of course, suggested that some of our northern states remain laggards. So what changes in the competitive federalism that existed yesterday and today? And I do believe there are differences. I think one big difference is the planning commission to the new Niti Aayog means that the way the center relates to the states changes. And the way it's changed is the allocation of funds for which the states pitched very hard and very large meetings happened here in Delhi has changed to a dialogue and discourse which is at the state level. The Planning Commission, now the Niti Aayog as it's called, has a very different relationship with states because the administration of the funding is happening very, is happening very differently. Uh, the funds are being dispersed and more of it available at the state level, particularly for what were originally central programs. And it's happening to the finance ministry rather than the erstwhile planning commission. And so what you get is a much more uh, collaborative relationship, at least between the planning commission and the new Niti Aayog, as it's called, which is seen as the arm of government, which actually disperses money. So I think that's important. And what you get, therefore, is much more collaboration demonstrated through the center with the state. I think the second area that changes is yes, we had competitive federalism. Yes, Rajasthan could have announced the change in labor laws as indeed it did ahead of any other state and ahead of the center. But why did it choose to do it now? And I think that comes from an understanding and engagement with the center. It helps that it's the same party in power in the state and the center. But an understanding that you do have a prime minister and a party at the center who will back you that you're not going to wind up in a situation where you're left dangling on a limb because you just read the law but didn't have the collaboration that took it forward. So you now have a government in the center which firmly believes in supporting some of the reform, even if it looks tricky on the face of it, and may even actually support some of these moves happening at the state level that they would like to do at the center, but it's just going to be that much harder to do. I think. While we look at this uh, and we look at the way the states will forge ahead, the mood of competing at a level which they have not competed before, I think exactly as Adil says, comes at a point of time. But it also comes therefore from this very, uh, I think, forceful endorsement at the center that India is ready for business. So it makes the aligning of the states that are competitive and wanting to win in the race much more closer to the thinking at the center. I think uh, I would just also add here that uh, there are things like the land reform uh, bill, which you would wonder why the center was trying to push it anyway, because land is actually a state subject. It's not even a concurrent subject. So what you got was a center assuming charge on land on something which you could argue was not even their business. So what you now have through a failure of the passage of the land bill is in fact land going right back to where it was in the beginning. So we've come full circle. So it's, it's not a loss to my mind. It allows the states that want to move ahead to move ahead uh, without maybe tackling uh, what was a very tricky issue. Uh, but they do now have to contend with the old land bill and a lot now depends on how they can administer themselves uh, against that benchmark which, uh, frankly, in hindsight, need and should not have happened at all. And I would just add that even as the Planning Commission and the Niti Aayog brings all the advantages uh, I just mentioned in terms of competitive federalism, there are areas where we still need administration. And that is uh, areas, for example, like water uh, and others that actually spread across different ministries. And what we do need, though, is some overarching visioning and work where you have multiple ministries dealing with the same area. And many of these are around the development agenda. So I do hope that we will see some of these uh, 
uh, the better collaboration and cooperation we need between ministries, uh, which needs to come th through somewhere. It could happen in the Prime Minister's office, but it has traditionally also happened in the Planning Commission, and I do hope that, that particular aspect uh, continues uh, to be looked at, even as uh, the Niti Aayog assumes its new form. So uh, that's from Nine, Richard. Thank you very thank much. You. Uh, as I was introduced as a last-minute addition, I'll just <laughs> stay with uh, an, an example that um, I work for a company called JCB, and it, it, this is about a state in which um, Naina is on the planning board, and she's very modest about it. We were, we've got plants in the north and in the west, and obviously the logical decision was to go down south, and we did a lot of research in the states down south. Uh, to see whether where we should put up our next plant. Uh, but then somebody did put the thought of uh, Rajasthan in our mind. Uh, it made sense from an administrative standpoint. We just landed up more for a lark to meet the, the secretary in charge of the investment and uh, infrastructure department. Uh, we went with five slides uh, to show what JCB was and who we were, etc. And after the third one, after three minutes, he got impatient and said, I know about you, I've done my homework, I've read your notes, now what do you want from me? And what we said was we want land to start with. So he says, fine, when can you be ready? Uh, can you be ready tomorrow? I had my team, I said, we are ready, and we will definitely be ready by tomorrow. He had a consultation with his team, and uh, that was only seemed to be a top-down consultation, I think, I, I don't think he was listening to them. And he said, we are ready as well. And then there was this note that was passed to him by one of his colleagues, which he sent back and said, it said that tomorrow is a state holiday, how can we go? And we went. And he put it all together and we went. And what happened after that, through the electricity approval, through the uh, environment approval, etc., was met with almost the same sense of urgency, simply because we'd said that we are actually logically it makes sense for us to go down south. Logically, Rajasthan has no industrial or ancillary base, and Jaipur has absolutely none. It's gems, jewelry, and tourism. And we have yet made our biggest investment in Jaipur. And that was because of ease of, a perceived ease of doing business, which I think has actually translated to the ease of doing business. And as now, subsequently, labor reforms, land reforms take place, more at the state level, uh, I think it's just going to get easier and easier. So yeah, there comes a point in time when this becomes a talking point. But in a sense, it is getting translated. But this will remain work in progress. It has to be sustained for decades because there's been 50 years of a different policy. There was no right or wrong about it, but it was a different policy, which was more centralized planning and control. The states know best, actually, what is good for them. It's, that's extremely important. Uh, Naina mentioned the Niti Aayog. Essentially, schemes, developmental schemes, etc. The, the local people know best, and we know it from corporate headquarters and local uh, subsidiaries as well. That whenever corporate headquarters comes to help, you're not sure what help they're going to provide. So fundamentally, it is like knowing your local people the best. Increasingly, state chief ministers are getting elected and re-elected on the developmental agenda, both the soft indicators and industrialization. And I think that's a realization of that which will propel competitive federalism forward. But it's important it be sustained and public pressure, citizen pressure, continue to be applied on state governments by voting on developmental parameters. Mm -hmm.